Exactly. So we'll be seeing that, that in a little bit. But we're going to move on to our top story. President Trump in full campaign mode at a late night rally in South Carolina, letting loose on a host of issues, including the uproar over immigration. We do have full coverage, beginning with NBC's Peter Alexander. Hey, Peter, good morning. Hey, Savannah, good morning. Uh, Hoda, good morning to you. This really is a remarkable moment. President Trump, who's been fiercely criticized for his inflammatory comments since the day he launched his campaign, he's trying to shift the national conversation to focus on civility. And several of his aides have now been publicly shamed. The president here last night personally and aggressively going after his critics as Democrats struggle to try to sort out how to turn their hostility toward the president into something productive. Overnight in South Carolina, an animated President Trump enjoying a relentless round of political target practice, mocking the late night comedians. Jimmy Fallon calls me up, and he's like a nice guy. He's lost. He looks like a lost soul. The guy on CBS is, is what a low life. What a low life. Jimmy Kimmel would meet me before the election. I'm telling you a true story. I don't even think you'd deny it. No talent belittling Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Prime Minister Justin. I say Justin, what's your problem, Justin? And offering sarcastic praise for former First Lady Laura Bush, who recently criticized his family separation policy as cruel. We very much appreciated Laura Bush's lovely letter. The President also delivering a series of false accusations about what he called the Democrats' immigration policies. They don't like Border Patrol, they don't like your police, they don't like anybody. Mr. Trump trying to rebrand his political opponents. This has become the party of Maxine Waters and Nancy Pelosi. That's all it is. Over the weekend, Waters, a California Democrat, urged her supporters to publicly confront Trump administration officials. You get out of Ukraine, you're going to cry. And you push back on them. After fierce bipartisan criticism, Waters tried to explain herself Monday night on MSNBC. I did not call for harm for anybody. The president lied again. As a matter of fact, I believe in peaceful protests. Just hours earlier, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who was asked to leave a Virginia restaurant over the weekend, called for civility. America is a great country, and our ability to find solutions despite those disagreements is what makes us unique. That is exactly what President Trump has done for all Americans. The president, meanwhile, offering nothing but praise for his loyalists, dubbing them the super elites. You're smarter. You're better. You're more loyal. We have the greatest base in the history of politics. Those backers telling NBC News their support for the president has only grown since he took office. Trump really cares about our people, and uh, he is among us. I've been entertained by most of what he does and happy with what he's done. The people that supported Obama, they didn't call them a cult, but they call us a cult. I think, Peter, both Democrats and Republicans will agree there is 